Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. I'm on holiday. We had to go into the nearest town to do some shopping for food and that sort of thing. So as usual I took the opportunity to go and have a look at the charity shops. That's in Kingsbridge and there's about eight or nine charity shops there. First thing you might notice Another one of my favourite clockwork cars. A little bit expensive this one, £1.50 it cost me. This was in the Devon Air Ambulance Charity. That helps support the um, helicopters that go around rescuing people off the coast. Uh, so, it's the usual thing. You would normally put a key in there to wind it up. But you can wind it backwards. That should do. So there we go. I've got a little racing car like this already somewhere, at least one of them. This one looks in pretty good condition. It's a little bit dirty, but other than that, looks like it's fine. And on our way down here, I stopped at Street and I've already done a charity shop gold or garbage for this one so that's two in one holiday. That one looks like a Porsche and this one I suppose is a Formula One racing car. And all these bits that turn inside. A fan there, a load of gears, pistons go up and down at the back there. I reckon they're great fun. Okay, what else did we do? <laughs> Two kites. Couldn't resist it. This one, only £1.99 from the YMCA. Just an ordinary single line diamond kite. 152 by 124 centimetres. Suitable for wind speed both at 3 to 5 ready for flying immediately after assembly. Got the line there. It doesn't feel like anything's broken. So we'll have a look at that. And then this one, a little bit more expensive, £2.49. It's one of those novelty kites. It's an aeroplane. 122 by 80 centimetres. Canvas made from durable ripstock nylon. I think the other one was too. Made by Connex. Yeah, that one's Connex as well. So I might just put that one together as well, just to see if it's all in one piece. And the last thing I did, not actually in a charity shop, just one of the local shops there, bought myself some postcards. Intend to send at least one of these to Doc Inc. over in America, in uh, Jacksonville. Because he likes to get letters and cards from all over the world, so I thought I might send him one. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in my video description somewhere. Slapton Sands, that's a picture of a World War II Sherman tank. They had a major disaster, they were doing practice landings at Slapton Sands and they actually got torpedoed. Uh, quite a few people killed there. Chalabra, that's the holiday site where I'm actually staying. Uh, beach and caravan site up here. And Burr Island, uh, neither of these pictures show it very well, but it's an island just out from the mainland that at low tide you can walk out to it. And at high tide, they have this thing called a sea tractor that takes you out there. So that gives you an idea of the sort of height they expect the water to go to. Keeps you dry. The wheels go right under the water. Goes out across the sand to get to the island. 
And that's it. Oh, well, I'll see if I can put those kites together. <laughs>